But this evening I would like to dwell more on the third part of the meaning of the term sabr. And that is to accept the decree of Allah when it comes in our direction. When something happens to you, you need to say Alhamdulillah. When it is positive, you say Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. When it is negative, you say Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. If you are a true believer, nothing can ever be negative in your life. It is impossible for any negativity to come to your life if you are a true believer. Everything that might seem negative because of your human brain is in fact an opportunity for you to get closer to your creator, but you don't realize that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never ever make us from those who don't realize the opportunities for us to gain closeness to him. Subhanallah. When you suffer a loss, it is actually a way to your creator. Some people have never raised their hands to ask Allah a word or anything because their lives are smooth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give them a chance to raise their hands. So he inflicts them with what is an armed robbery. May Allah protect us as a blessing. Because if that armed robbery made them then raise their hands to say, Ya Allah, protect me for the first time in their lives, it was a bargain. Allahu Akbar. It was a bargain. Because if Allah loves a person and that person does not want to turn to him quickly in a rush and Allah wants them to turn quickly, Allah will make them, for example, go through a health difficulty. How many people have we seen after they almost died, they then became better Muslims? Allahu Akbar. Was that not a chance from Allah? Was that not a blessing in disguise? We might have looked at it as a close shave to death, but we, little did we realize that that was the door through which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted that person to get closeness. This is known as sabr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really grant that to us. And may he make us from those who can turn to him before any calamity that is very difficult for us to bear comes in our direction. And may Allah protect us inshallah from all forms of adversity. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ankabut. He says, do the people think that it's enough for them? They are going to be left when they just say, look, we, we are believers and they are not going to be tested by us. Allah says, we will definitely test every single one of you to see whether you are truthful or false. And we will test you in many different ways. Look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after promising to test every single one of us. Remember when you go to school, in order to get to the next level, you need to go through a test. And the lower the level, the easier the test. The higher the level, the more difficult the test. A person who is in grade one only learns one plus one. Whereas a person in high school will then go into algebra and so on. And they will go into formula and what have you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. When they get to matric, it's a more difficult test. But it is only through that test that you qualify for the new level. Allahu Akbar. We understand that in the dunya. If you want to go to varsity, to university, you have to have a matric certificate. You have to have set that particular test and exam. Then only will you qualify to get closer, to get higher. Allahu Akbar. Allah says, I will test every one of you. And as I test you, you will then go higher and higher. And he says very clearly, Inna Allah idha ahabba abdani bitalah. It is only when Allah loves you that he will test you with more tests. Subhanallah. Imagine when you want a bigger certificate, you have got 10 degrees, 12 degrees, university degrees. Do you think they will come to you just like that? No, you need to work for them. Subhanallah. You need to work very hard and you need to spend sleepless nights and you need to endure and persevere. That is when you will have that certificate. The same applies to the certificate of closeness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, I will test you with a small test. Then he tells us, ajri ma the bigger the test, the bigger the reward, Allahu Akbar. So when there's a huge test, it is because Allah loves you even more. If you only perceive it that way, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Am hasibatum antutraku walamma ya'lamillahu alladheena jahadu minkum. Allahu Akbar. أَمْ حَسِبْتُمْ أَن تُتْرَكُوا وَلَمَّا يَعْلَمِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا مِنْكُمْ وَيَعْلَمَ الصَّابِرِينَ أَمْ حَسِبْتُمْ 
أن تدخل الجنة الله أكبر so many questions Allah is asking us do you think you are going to enter paradise without a test no that's impossible Allah says do you think you are going to be left you are, do you think you are going to be left without us testing you to see who struggles in our way and in our path and who is patient really and who is not may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all do you think you can get into university without a matric certificate I don't think that's possible may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding so do you think you will enter into Jannah without being tested only the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do that for you Allahu Akbar we ask Allah's mercy really we are weak we are men and we want the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam Allah says wala nabluwannakum hatta na'lama almujahideen minkum was sabirin wa nabluwa akhbarakum Allah says we will definitely test every single one of you until we know who struggles who is patient and until we test every single department of yours we will test everything we will give you money to test you we will take it away to test you we will give you children to test you we will take them away to test you we will give you happiness to test you we will give you sadness to test you we will have your feet amputated to test you Allahu Akbar may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not test us with tests that we will fail tests that are too big for us May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really grant us ease with these tests.